Alright folks, Martin here. I hope you can hear this. Sometimes the phone sucks. But, uh, this is a bad gummit. Well, it's part of a shaft I'm making. Actually, it's a it's going in here. This is one inch, 850 thousandths. Oh, we'll put it in here press it in and we'll do a, a press fit it's going to go in there and that is the shaft that's going on this motor here I don't know if you can see it this motor's going inside my my new mill that's the old motor it was 500 and something volts and uh, no matter what I do here I can't get 550 volts out of that out of, out of my house so I'm sure I could but I ain't going to try it so I got this brand new motor it's five horsepower, and uh, so I'll, I'll get it going. And that's what we got going on. It's all cleaned up pretty much. Uh, I'm not doing a full restoration on this because I'm still not done the one over there on the big mill. I got to get the big mill done first. Got to finish that one so I can come over here and finish this one. The motor on this one is is beat. It's 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 a horsepower and a half, and. Uh, I don't think I'm getting a, a quarter horsepower out of it. it. It's it's just dead. It dies under any load. It doesn't matter what it is. But uh, I got this running. This is on. <laughs> this is under horsepower. It's supposed to have a 10 horsepower motor on it, and I got a two horsepower motor on it. So that tells you how underpowered that is. And then, well, I got my rotary phase converter from American Rotary, and. Uh, I don't like it as much as I like the VFD. I had the VFD and my electric bill was a steady $200 a month. And then I got that and jumped up to $400 a month. So uh, it's got to go. So I got I got a new one sitting here. That's for both. The, that's for the five horsepower. And I, I'm just going to put a VFD on each machine because I'm tired of playing around with it and plugs and all that shit. So when I'm done, that's going to have a five horse. This mill over here is going to have a five horsepower motor on it. And uh, I cleaned everything up. I made these brass screws for the adjustment knobs here. Uh, cleaned over everything up over here. This here. You know, so it'll lock there. And then I cleaned up my handles. Got them to where it's, it's not bad working on them. And then I uh, put this handle on this here. And, and stuck a, a big old chunk of metal in it because it wouldn't yeah. of course it was a little hard so to crank this up without a handle on it so I put a handle on oh thank god yeah so my long guys here it's great isn't it all right but this here locks this out so you can't push that in and so that it goes up and down at your full reverse for your uh, up and down excuse me up and down <laughs> this is this is for this over here. That's so it'll go uh, in and out. That's so this goes in and your table goes in and out. Z, X axis, hell, I don't know anymore. And then uh, this one here is just this here. It's just that knob there to go back and forth this way. That's a 50 taper. Can you see it? That's 50 taper. And then uh, the head down there on the floor is a 40 taper. Now, I don't know how, I'm how much I'm going to use this in the vertical sense because I already have a good vertical mill at the Bridgeport. I just got done rebuilding everything on it. I still got some bugs to work out on it. Like I said, the motor sucks on it and I need to fix it. But then I need to uh, also get the, get the covers in the wipers and it, I need to finish it. I need to tidy it up. But it's coming along. Other than that, it works great. The head doesn't make any noise. The motor is shot. Like I said, it's shot, but it's still usable at this point. So I just got to take little cuts. Um, here's my my very speed head that I'm getting ready to put on it. As soon as I get it all finished, the very speed's going on it. The very speed motor is still in parts. I've got to finish cleaning up the shaft on it. I have to cut the, the keyway in it here. And then once I, once I get the keyway cut, I can go ahead and finish that and put it on. But I'm not going to do that until I've got everything else finished because there's no point. Um, got to take this head down, 
and uh, I'm gonna rebuild that one after I get done rebuilding the other one. I got another one already. I got two heads, so I'm rebuilding the other one. All right, but that's pretty much what's going on. Uh, hope all is well with you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for following. And, uh, you know, go outside and make it happen. Thank you.